What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about why I dropped out of college to pursue a MMA career. Let's get to it. Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today's an awesome video for you. This is one of the biggest decisions I ever had to make. The time I had to decide that I was going to drop out of college and pursue a career in MMA full time. Now maybe you out there, you're, you're in a, a position in your life, maybe you're young, you're up and coming and you're an MMA fighter and you're asking yourself that question. Should I be going to school? Should I have a career to fall back on? You know, should I have, should I go for my dream or should I go for what's a little safer, what's a little bit more of a predictable route of going to college and getting a job? Or maybe you're out there and you're in a position where you're, you have dreams to do something, but everything around you is kind of telling you to play it safe and uh, not go for your dreams. And if so, this video is for you because I was in those same shoes. Back in 2007, I just graduated high school and I was finishing up an amateur career in mixed martial arts. Now at this time in my life, I had a deep down dream that I wanted to make it to the UFC and I wanted to fight in the biggest stage possible in front of the world. I wanted to make money in the UFC and I wanted to make a career and a life out of fighting in mixed martial arts. But everything around me didn't point to that. You know, I, I grew up and I was taught to, you know, to go to school, um, get a job, have something to fall back on, a degree. And that was what a lot of people were doing. People graduated high school and they went off to college to pursue whatever, whatever career choice they wanted to do. Nobody around me was getting out of college and saying, oh, I'm going to jump in the cage and I'm going to be in the UFC. Now, there was people that were fighting for a living, but not really anybody was making it successful and making a career out of it and fighting full time in the UFC. And that's what I wanted to do. I remember distinctively one time there was a, a, a fighter that came up before me and he was a great fighter. He was, he beat some good UFC veterans. He, he was a a super tough guy, athletically gifted. And I remember meeting him up for dinner and he told me, he looked me right in my face and he said, Miles, you will never make money fighting. And coming up, this was somebody that I, I looked up to to a certain standpoint. And he was telling me straight up, you will never make money fighting. Because that was his reality. That's, that's what happened to him. He didn't make any money fighting. He didn't make it fighting. So he had to go back to school and he got a, a career and, and went that route. But I remember that was eye-opening for me because I, I had this belief that, that I could do it. I, I really could do it. And I remember telling myself that that's, that's not me. That's, that's not me. That's him. That's his belief. He's trying to put his belief off on me because he didn't make it. That's not me. So in 2007, once I graduated, I wasn't ready to make that choice yet to get into MMA. I went to, I started attending Oakland Community College in Royal Oak, Michigan, and I started pursuing a, a career in physical therapy. At this time, I was still training. You know, I, I would wake up in the morning, I would go to class for three or four hours, and after that, I would get some food, I would go to the gym, come back home, go back to class a little bit like later in the evening, and that was my my schedule. You know, I, everything kind of revolved around school. Now I did this for a good year, year and a half. I was still training and basically kind of one foot in, one foot out. I was like, oh, I want to be a fighter, but you know, might not make it. Uh, you know, I got to, I should get this degree going here, you know, just in case and I can fall back on it and, and everything. And I had the opportunity to, to travel out of state to, to train with somebody that was fighting full-time in the UFC. So this UFC fighter told me something that I'll remember forever. He looked me in my eyes and he said, Miles, he said, if school ever gets in the way of your training, drop out of school. And I thought that was the coolest thing anybody had ever told me before because here, here's somebody that, 
that's looking past fear and he's looking past the the security route and he's he's looking at the dreams and that that stuck with me and that that was my my mind start, my mindset started shifting from that point i went back home and i just decided i said you know what i'm going to drop out of college and i'm going to pursue mma full time and i remember going to my mom and my stepfather we met up at chili's and uh I sat down and I said, Mom, John, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pursue MMA full-time. This is what I really want to do. This is what I'm passionate about. These are what my dreams are made of here, and, and, I, and I'm going to go for it. And surprisingly, they, they looked at me and they just were like, okay, Miles, if that's what you want to do, we support you. You know, like, we, we're, we're here for you if you need us, and if that's what you want to do, go for it. And I basically told him, I said, you know, would you mind if I just kept any of my personal belongings, can I put them at, at your house and I'm going to basically be a gym rat. I'm going to go stay, I'm going to go, go to the gym. I'm, I'm going to stay at a, a friend's house. I'm going to, I'm going to crash on couches. I'm going to, I'm going to make it work. I don't need to live with you, mom and John, but I want to be able to just put my stuff there. I don't have anywhere else to put it. And they were like, yeah, for sure. You know, you can put your stuff here. And that's what I did. I, I started training full time. I, uh, I, I rented a room with a couple other fighters and basically just had some odd ends job just so I could pay the rent and, and just have enough money to eat. But the main purpose is I could train full time. Now my main priority is training full time. Everything revolves around training so I can fight, so I can get better as a martial artist, so I can, I can learn and I can start taking fights and I can be well prepared for them and I can build, build up my resume, build up my record so I can make it into the UFC. That's all my life revolved around. And it was the best decision I could have ever made. And honestly, how I kind of came to that decision is I realized that I would much rather go for my dreams and fail and not make it than being older, being on my deathbed and looking back on my life and being like, dang, man, I wish I would have tried to be a fighter. I wish I would have, you know, tried to make it into the UFC and, and live with all those regrets. To me, I really felt like I cannot fight forever. Fighting in mixed martial arts is a small window. But I could always go back to school or, or get a job. And that persuaded me to, to go for my dream. My dreams were bigger and worth more than uh, security of just going to school and uh, possibly regretting never going for my dream. So that's basically what I did. I jumped in that full board. And, and it was the best decision I could have ever made because I started training full time. I, uh, I started win, winning some professional fights. I was getting better in jujitsu. I was getting better in wrestling. I uh, I was I was just getting better all around. I was I was making the growth that I needed to make to be able to fight in the UFC one day. And also this this led me to a journey because after a little while of living in Michigan, I decided to jump on an airplane and go to San Diego, California. And at the time, meet one of my best friends. I, I didn't know he would be my best friends and, and be my brother one day. But Jeremy Stevens was who I met. And we clicked up. And basically, that's that's when you know we really started pouring gasoline on the fire. I started training with him. I started you know doing getting on his schedule. I, I started going to, to UFC fights with him to help corner, to, to help out with whatever I could. And this, this is what got me that real life experience. This is, this is what helped bring me up more and more steps. Because if I was sitting back in school, trying to go to school, trying to get a degree, there's absolutely no way I could have just left my life and went out there and pursued my dream. It just, I, I would have been half foot in, half foot out. So by just committing 100% for my dream, I was able to get out there, train with Jeremy Stevens, and not much longer, after that, I I amassed a, a, a 9 and 0 professional record. I fought in the co-main event in, in King of the Cage, and I was making a name for myself. And eventually, the the Ultimate Fighter called me, and that was my first taste of getting close to the UFC. Now, 
I went on, I, you know, my, my story goes on more and more. I got injured and then I came back on the, uh, the ultimate fighter 15 and fought, won my fight to get into the, the house and did good on the show. And I basically didn't win the show, but I got a contract with the UFC and boom, that's what led me to 14 fights with the UFC. So the moral of this story is go for your dreams. If you want to be a professional baseball player, if you want to be in a circus, if you want to, you know, create your own own business, if you want to be the president of the United States, what whatever your dream is, go for it. Life is short. We're not promised tomorrow. It's always worth it when you go for it. Even if the closest people are telling you, you know, be safe, get that job, go to school, you can always go back to school. You can always go back and get a job. And this is my story. This is my story about how I went for my dreams. And I made my dreams a reality. How awesome is that? And I'm telling you from somebody who crossed that, that bridge of wanting to be in the UFC to actually being in the UFC and being a professional fighter and making a career out of it and making money out of this game, that it's worth it. It really is worth it. There, there's nothing more satisfying than going for your dreams, facing adversity, and making your dreams a reality. Have faith and trust in your dreams that everything will work out, even if it means dropping out of college and doing the opposite of what everybody else says. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in your dreams. And I look forward to seeing you guys on TV one day. And drop a comment to me. Send me a message if one day, if you've watched this video and, and it inspires you to to go for it, to go for your dreams. Let me know because I love hearing stories. I love hearing people that, that go for it. So I'm Miles Jury. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget, drop a comment, smash that like button, and subscribe. Until next time.